Tyler McGee here coming to you from Orange County National. I uh, had a couple questions about a simple bunker shot or standard sort of close bunker shot. Um, the thing with bunkers is as you're going to different courses, you have to pay attention to obviously how the sand is and, and the depth of it and the thickness of it because all those little things can make a, a difference in how you got to play the shot. But So I got this one here. Um, it's a standard bunker shot. I got... Uh, like in this bunker here, the sand's pretty firm right now, so I'm gonna sort of talk through that uh, and some ideas to how to play this type of shot. Because I find in the thicker in the thicker sand, you actually, if you have enough speed, you got a little bit more room for air because you can collect a little bit more sand and get it get the ball to get out of the bunker and, and do what you want. Typically, when you have less sand, I find this is where people struggle a bit more. Usually, I, you know, the tendency is to hit it too far, hit it a little bit thin, okay? So when I get in there for this shot, um, some things that I'm paying attention to, one from face on here, I want to make sure that the center of my chest isn't too far back, okay? Because usually what happens is I see people with the center of the chest too far back, and then what they have to do is they try to, they have to hold and sort of reach to try to get the ball. And in bunkers, what we need is we need the club to be swinging uh, with an open face. So if I'm reaching, trying to get it, I'm usually holding the angle, then the, the leading edge is gonna dig a little bit. It's gonna make it a lot harder for me to be successful out of the bunker. Um, another thing to pay attention to is when you get in there, you wanna start a little bit lower because you don't wanna have to try to go down to get the depth in the bunker. If I can start a little lower, then I could swing it and that will produce my low point versus me trying to help help the bunker or help the ball get out by getting down. So I wanna start basically in a spot with a little pressure left, a little pressure on my lead ankle, lead knee. Uh, hand position is gonna be pretty straight up and down. This, because I need to be a little steeper because of the lack of sand, I might have a little bit of shaft lean um, and then hit a little tiny bit more of like a sort of a push one. If there's lots of sand, I'm gonna have the shaft a little bit more straight up and down and then make sure the shaft releases a little bit more uh, so the bounce can help me a little bit more. With this one, I don't need to use the bounce as much just because there's not that much sand, okay? So if I get in there, this one, like if I was playing, I'm looking, okay, probably wanna carry it just on the green. If I hit it nice, it comes out with a little bit of spin. If I don't hit it perfect, it should run up. Um, so I'm just gonna get set up in there. I'm gonna choke up a little tiny bit on of it on the shaft or on the grip here. So I got the face open uh, right about that much for this one. So it's probably about halfway again, right? So right around halfway. With this one, if I have more green, I might play it with a little tiny bit square face. Again, because there's not much sand, I don't, got, I don't have to worry about it digging a ton. Um, so I'll get in there again. So I got the face a bit open. This one's gonna come out fast because I'm a little bit on a downhill. So I'm gonna have a, a little bit more of a, a vertical backswing just to make sure because of the downhill. And then again, when I get into this position, I don't wanna see this wrist, left wrist change a lot. So basically what I am here at address and what I am here in backswing, I wanna maintain. Um, people get in trouble sometimes if their wrist positions start changing in the bunker. So I wanna maintain that. Little bit of set and then in the spot where I can just feel like the club is gonna swing past me and keep the loft on the face. So I'm just gonna sort of pop it out. It's like a very, like I don't need a lot of speed because there's no sand. Right, so I just, I didn't have a lot of backswing sort of threw the club under the head or under the ball there. Got a little bit of sand, was able to pop it up there. And it's one of those ones where if you can, uh, when you're playing a new course and the sand's different, get in there, experiment. Big fan of drawing a line in the sand to just give you some sense of where your low point is because uh, it's going to need to be different at different places. But for this type of standard bunker shot, you don't need to, you don't need to hit. I, uh, that one I hit probably about, uh, you know, just very, very close to the golf ball because there's less sand. I, I don't need to, if I get too far back, uh, a pattern that happens obviously I get a little bit back say here the club bottoms out hits the low hits the the hard stuff and starts bouncing up and then I can hit it a little bit thin so 
you're gonna have to be a little bit more particular on this one that's why the setup's so important and then you can get that club swinging um happy with that shot i think you know have fun play around with this play around with the face position some people you know they might need the face a little bit more open at address some people might need it a bit more square uh one other side note to this is when you're coming into the bunker you can see the depth of that swing again that's all set up by my lowness at address and then keeping my keeping my upper body pretty stable so i can just let the club swing you don't really want the club diving into the sand on this shot it just makes it a little bit harder uh, i hope that helps uh, give that a try and see if you can get up and down a little bit more out of the bunkers